Okay, solving trig equations. So in this video, I'm just going to cover fairly simple ones like this uh, that have exact solutions. And in the next video, I'll do ones where you need a calculator to solve them. Um, and then in later videos, I'll cover um, more complicated ones and how to do the general solutions. So for this equation, so we've got sine theta equals negative a half. We've got to work out what theta is. Now, uh, if you remember from the first video I made on the unit circle, that sine theta is the y-coordinate on the unit circle. So we want the y-coordinate to be negative a half. So there's a really easy way to visualize this. We just go down to y equals negative a half and draw a line across there. So that represents y equals negative a half. And then the points where that intersects the unit circle, those are the angles that we're looking for. Now, because we know that this is um, one of the, the special angles, one of the special values that uh, I talked about in my last video, we know that this is going to be either 30, 45, or 60 degrees. So you can kind of just eyeball this. I mean, that looks like 30. It's quite small. So you can see that this, um, this angle is going to be like negative 30 degrees. Or if we're working in radians, it could be negative pi on 6. But there's actually a lot of different ways that you could describe that angle. You could also think of it as being 360 minus 30, so that would be 330. So your teacher or your test or whatever textbook is going to tell you a range of values that they want. And that's going to look something like one of these four things. So if you haven't seen this kind of notation before, uh, this just means that 0 is less than or equal to theta and theta is less than 360. So it's just sort of wrapping up those two statements into one thing. So uh, you can think of it as just saying that theta has to be between 0 and 360. So if they said this one, one of the solutions would be theta equals 330 degrees for that one there. Uh, if they instead said this, then you can't say 330 because that's not within that range because it's bigger than 180. So for that one, you would have to answer that it equals negative 30 degrees. If they said, um, let's do this one first. If they said negative pi to pi, you would say theta equals negative pi on 6. Remember that that's the same as 30 degrees. Uh, if they said 0 to 2 pi, you're going to have to think of it as 2 pi minus pi on 6. So let's work out what that makes. You can just sort of think of this as like, like just ignore the pi's and make it 2 minus 1 on 6. So think of the 2 as 12 on 6, and then that makes 11 on 6. So you can call that um, 11 pi on 6. Okay, so that's all the different ways of expressing that one. Now let's have a look at this one. If we're in this range, we could think of it as 180 plus 30. So that's going to be 210. Or if we're in this range, then you would have to call that negative 150 degrees. Uh, if you find that uh, this way is easier to think of, but they've told you this range, then what you can do is just subtract 360 from that, and that will give you the negative 150. Or if you feel the other way, that it was easier to come up with negative 150, but you want to know what the answer would be in this range, then just add 360 to it. OK, uh, and then for this range, it would be negative 5 pi on 6. So like negative pi, and then add pi on 6. Or if we're working in this range, you would think of it as pi plus pi on 6. So the way to think about that is it's like 1 plus 1 on 6. And then 1 is 6 on 6. So that makes 7 on 6. So that would be 7 pi on 6. OK. So um, that's all the ways to solve that equation. <laughs> Let's try solving cos theta equals root 2, 1, 2. So uh, you might remember from my last video that root 2 and 2 is approximately 0.7 and cos theta is the x-coordinate on the unit circle. So to visualize that, 
let's just go to x is 0.7 roughly there and just like draw in a vertical line that represents x equals root 2 on 2 and then the angles that we're looking for the solutions to that equation will be the points where that line crosses the unit circle so there and there um, and then again because we know that this is one of the, the special values that gives like 30 45 60 degrees we know that this is one of those possibilities and it looks like 45 degrees so you can just eyeball that and say okay that's that's the dig was 45 um, but let's have a look at the various possibilities. So for these two, you can say theta equals 45 for that first one. And for these ones, you can say theta equals pi on four. That's the, the radians version of 45 degrees. Now looking at this one, you could call that negative 45, remembering that negative angles go in that direction. Um, but if we're in this range, we can't say negative 45 because that's less than zero. So you can add 360 to that. That gives you 315 degrees. So that's kind of like thinking of it as going around 360 and then back 45. For this range, we could call that one negative pi on four. Or in this range, you'd have to think of it as like two pi minus pi on four. So let's work out what that would be. Uh, you can think of the two as being eight on four. So it's like eight on four minus one on four. So that makes seven on four. So this would be seven pi over four. So no matter which, uh, which range they give you, there's gonna be two solutions for this equation. Let's do one with tan. So for tan theta equals negative root three, you might remember from my first video that to visualize the tan, what you can do is extend the line of whatever angle you have until it hits the line x equals one. And then the y coordinate at that intersection point gives you the tan. So what we can do to visualize that equation is draw in that line and then negative root three is gonna be down here. You don't really need to know exactly how big root 3 is. It's about 1.7. Uh, just know that its, its magnitude is bigger than 1. So then what we do is we um, draw in a line that passes through this point and through the origin. So that's going to look like that. And then where that line cuts the unit circle uh, is the two angles that we're looking for. So depending on what range you've been told, um, this one, again, we can just eyeball that. So that looks like 60 degrees, that. So we could call that uh, negative 60 if we're in that range. If we're in this range, then uh, you can add 360 to that or just like think of it as 360 minus 60. Or you can even think of it as 270 plus 30 if you like. So that would give you 300 degrees in any case. If we're working in radians, uh, 60 is pi on three, so we could say that it's negative pi on three. Or if we're in this range, then we'll have to think of it as two pi minus pi on three. So think of the two as six on three. So six on three minus one on three, that makes five on three. So that will be five pi on three. Okay, so that's that one done. Now for this angle, um, in either of these two cases, you can just call that 120 degrees because they're, they're in both of those ranges. Um, and for the radians, we can call that two pi on three or um, yeah, same. <laughs> same for that range, 2 pi on 3 for that one as well. Okay, so that's all the solutions to that equation in those ranges. Alright, let's have a go at solving this equation. Sine theta equals negative root 3 on 2 for theta between 0 and 360 degrees. So the first thing that I would do is draw the unit circle 
And then remember, remember that sine is the y coordinate. So we go down to negative root 3 on 2, which is about 0.9-ish. So down there. And then we just draw in that line. y equals negative root 3 on 2. And then these two points where it cuts the unit circle, those represent the angles that we're interested in. So you can just, um, you can just see that that's roughly 60 degrees. Like you don't even have to put any effort into remembering special angles or anything. You can just see it on the diagram. So uh, you can think of that as 180 plus 60. So that would be 240 degrees. And then for that one, um, you can think of it as 270 plus 30. So that would be 300. Or you can think of it as 360 minus 60. And that also gives you 300. So that's how you solve that one. Let's have a go at solving cos theta equals a half for theta between negative 180 and 180. So if you feel like you can figure this out, then pause the video here. Now the first thing that I would do is draw the unit circle. And then remember that cos is the x coordinate. So we go to x equals a half, which is around there. And just draw in a vertical line like that. And then these are the two angles that we're looking for. And you can just see that that looks like 60 degrees. So we're going to get theta equals 60. And then this one you would call negative 60 degrees. We can't call it 300 degrees because that's not in that range. So those are the solutions to that one. Let's try tan theta equals negative 1 for theta between negative pi and pi. So pause the video here if you want to figure it out for yourself. What I would do first is draw the unit circle. It doesn't even have to be too accurate. Uh, for tan, what you want to do is draw in that line, x equals 1, and then go down to y equals negative 1 on that line. So just remember that um, because it's the unit circle, that means that its radius is 1. So this is down here at negative 1. It needs to be level with that. And then we just draw a line that goes through here and through the origin. So like that. And then you can see that that looks like 45 degrees, which, which is uh, pi on 4 in radians. So you can say this one would be negative pi on 4. And then this angle would be 3 pi on 4. So those are the solutions to that one. All right, let's have a go at sine theta equals 0 for theta between 0 and 360. So first thing I would do is draw the unit circle. Now, we want the y-coordinate to be 0. So you might be a bit confused about whether this line should be vertical or horizontal. Um, what you can do is maybe think of it as like y equals 0 0.0001 or something. So just go up a little bit. So it's going to be going along like that. But you've got these two intersection points. So we could say theta equals 0 degrees or 180. Now if they said this exactly, then that would be it. If they said less than or equal to 360, then you would also have to include the 360 degrees because that's there as well. So that would actually have three solutions if they said less than or equal to 360. Now, if you're not confident about your answers, you can always check them on the calculator. So let's say you were solving sine theta equals negative a half, and you thought that maybe negative 30 degrees was the solution. You can go to your calculator, make sure that it's in degrees mode, so that's what that little D means. And you can just type in sine negative 30, hit equals, and it says negative 0.5, so that one's correct. Um, if you had thought that maybe 30 degrees was a solution, you could type in sine 30 and check, and you'll see that that's wrong because that's positive 0.5. If you're working in radians, let me just switch that to radians mode, uh, let's say that you thought that negative pi on 6 was a solution, so type in negative pi on 6, it equals, and that tells you that's right negative 0.5. So that's really handy if you're not confident about your solutions and you want to check them. Later on in this series I'm going to be covering equations like this one where the solutions aren't exact values. 
so you have to use a calculator to solve them. And equations like this one where it's a bit more complicated. Um, and I will also cover the general solutions in that one. So stay tuned for those videos. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions.